we welcome you, dear viewer, to Project Sunshine. While you may have noticed that the war has affected His Excellency's policy decision, such as the temporary restriction of the previously introduced Imperial Operations Act, the decision has been made to disseminate and encourage a public archive of the Imperial operations during the war for not only educated individuals to make personal and informed decisions, but to serve as an educational tool for any future aspiring individuals. The efforts and conclusion of this idea, ultimately culminating in the creation of Project Sunshine. Now then dear viewer, let's begin your orientation with this project vision, introduction, and facilitating slash operating structures. Let's begin with this project's introduction. Project Sunshine is an imperial project ordered to be undertaken by His Excellency following the ratification of the recent Transparency Act, under Clause 13-A. Transparency Act Clause 13-A requires the Ministry of Public Information and Citizen Affairs to search for, collect, process and publicize any and all information deemed necessary for the public's peace of mind and state citizenry to be well informed of state actions to promote institutional trust. With this goal in mind, the state has commenced a joint cooperation project between the Imperial High Military Intelligence Agency. Imperial Military Counterintelligence Agency, Imperial Intelligence Agency, the Ministry of Public Information and Citizen Affairs and the Emperor's Jaegers. What this means for you, dear viewer, is that you will watch potentially and formally sensitive information, past operations, past thinking, and past factors of decision that swayed the causes of the consequences of the recent war and Glasgow Doctrine. This leads us to the next section of the introductory section of the video, the facilitating directors of Project Sunshine. Project Sunshine is overlooked by Director Trapke of the Imperial High Military Intelligence Agency. His roles may include the allocation of which classifications are presented to the Ministry or Public Information and Citizen Affairs, as well as the final authority to make any decisions regarding this project. The next important individual you need to know of is Director Philindum. Philindum is in charge of military operations that have been conducted, whether successful or not, by the Imperial military, while her main duties include the authorizing of public material, such as this video. She is also tasked with the management of many supervising officials working for Project Sunshine. The next important individual you need to know of is confidential information. The next important individual you need to know of is confidential information. And the final important individual, as well as the final director on the facilitating directors list is Elias Portman of the Ministry of Public Information and Citizen Affairs. While his main duties include public outreach, many have described him as the friendly face of Project Sunshine for his calm demeanor, supportive spirit, and kind soul. He has also been personally interacting with Q&As and on-site tours of the Project Sunshine facility to the public. While we have not said much about Project Sunshine's vast duties, you, dear viewer, now know that Project Sunshine aims to inform the public and publicize Imperial operations for your peace of mind. We hope you stay interested in learning of our great state's inner thinking and history, and hope you have an amazing and positive day.